everybody, it is Q&A Wednesday, and I am here to talk to you today about something that I think just doesn't get enough attention, and that is farting. Um, you might call it tooting, passing gas, breaking wind, whatever you call it. Uh, it is something that is super normal. Everybody does it. Nobody really likes to talk about it, or some people do, but that's another story. The question that I got was, why do we fart? Which is, you know, I think before we really start talking about passing gas, we really need to talk about why do we fart? What is it that's causing the farts so that we can determine whether or not um, these are normal? Or do we fart too much? And I know anybody who knows me from back home, back in my day, will be laughing their heads off watching this because, you know, all throughout my life, pretty much, I used to fart a lot. You know, if there was a Farters Anonymous, I would have been part of that club. Um, it was unfortunate. I used to think that it was just part of my constitution, you know, like I was just a gassy person. You know, I didn't like it, but I thought it was normal. So I, so this topic really does ring true to my, um, my heart. Farting can actually be a sign of things gone awry. So before we get into talking about what your farts uh, might be telling you, I want to just go over a basic farting 101. Like I said, everyone farts. The average person, the average human farts between 10 to 20 times a day. And um, there are two primary reasons why we fart. One is air. We are swallowing air, it's going through the system and it has to come out somewhere. And the other one is because of bacteria fermentation. So we have bacteria all through our guts. Lots of it is really, you know, essential and crucial to our health. It's called our microbiome. There are lots of bacteria happening through our digestive system and basically, they feed off the food we eat and through their metabolism they give off gas once they eat it so they eat food or undigested food um, and they give off gas so you've got air and bacterial fermentation those are the two primary reasons that we fart basically we've got gas going on in the digestive system and it needs to come out somewhere it accumulates pressure it needs to come out and then we fart and that's what a fart is so now that you have the basics about what farting is let's just go over a few more points so that i really hit it home for you air why would we have too much air in our digestive system? Well, uh, it might mean that you're eating in a rush, you're swallowing a lot of air, and then maybe you're chewing a lot of gum. You know, a lot of people chew gum or suck on candies, and that will all contribute to the amount of air that you are swallowing, and you will produce more farts. Now, these are generally not the stinky kind. And then there is the difference between indigestible material that we eat and undigested food. So, indigestible material uh, comes from plants and our things like fiber. We love fiber, we can't digest it. We don't have the enzymes in our system to digest fiber. And then there's another kind of indigestible material and uh, it's basically a string of sugar molecules and scientists like to call that oligosaccharides. So oligosaccharides um, basically are indigestible and so is fiber, indigestible. Now just because they're indigestible doesn't mean they're bad. They're actually really fantastic for us because they are what we call prebiotics. I know you've heard about probiotics, but these are prebiotics. So they are basically food for good uh, bacteria in our guts. That's why something like beans, you know, obviously beans are known for making you fart. The more you eat, the more you fart. You know, that, that rhyme. Anyway, <laughs> beans have a lot of fiber in them and they have a lot of oligosaccharides. So they make you fart. What I would suggest is don't stop eating them because, you know, unless you actually have a sensitivity to them, they're quite healthy. They're a really healthy part of the diet. If they're causing you a lot of gas, just start off slowly. So instead of sitting down to a giant bean salad, you know, just have it as a side. But don't eat them every day if it's causing you a lot of gas. Eat them every second day or every third day until your body knows how to handle them. And then there is the bacteria that feed off of undigested food. So there's indigestible material and undigested food. So anything that we don't digest, anything that does not get broken down properly and absorbed into the body, basically our, our, our particles or molecules that are going through our system undigested, they're not broken apart. And they are food for bacteria. And often that kind of undigested food is um, feeding the bad kind of bacteria. So basically if you're not digesting your food properly, the bacteria will digest it for you and they will give off a lot of gas and you'll fart a lot. So you really want to work on digestion to make sure you're breaking down all of your food properly so it can be absorbed properly and you're not going to feed those pathogenic bacteria. And just one final note on why are some farts stinky because typically farts are made up of gases that don't have a smell, uh, that whether that's carbon dioxide or nitrogen or hydrogen, uh, methane even, the, these, these uh, gases don't have a scent 
an odor to them, but sometimes sulfur, yes, we know sulfur, we all know the smell of sulfur, gets up in that gas and it causes a stinky fart. So where does sulfur come from? Sulfur comes from foods that are rich in sulfur and sulfur is actually really, really good for us. We wanna eat sulfur rich foods because they help us detoxify and do all kinds of really great things. So you can think about well, like where does sulfur come from? It comes from any kind of food that smells strongly eggs, you know the smell, onions, garlic, um, any cruciferous veggies like broccoli, cauliflower, all that good stuff, they all have sulfur in them and so does meat. Meat is high in sulfur. Now the difference between plant-based uh, forms of sulfur and meat, the sulfur found in meat, is that the, the rate at which they are digested and how well they're digested. Meat can be difficult to digest for people because it requires more digestive fire to break down properly, uh, whereas plants are easier to digest. So if you're getting a lot of sulfur from meat, uh, it can cause you to have a lot of stanky farts. Whereas with plants, yes, they have the sulfur and they have all that good stuff that you want, but they also have fiber, so they add bulk to your stool and help get everything moving along more efficiently and faster. So they're kind of, you know, cleaning the system out well and there's not a lot of time where that undigested material is hanging around in your intestines. So in a nutshell, that is kind of farting 101. I know you're all sitting around wondering, like, do I fart too much? My farts are stinky, what does that mean? You know, and all the rest. So in part two of farting, we're gonna talk all about what are your farts telling you? Do you fart too much? Are you healthy? What's going on down there? So just click in the link below and uh, head on over to that video. And if you know anyone who really needs a little bit of a debrief on why we fart, please send this video on over to them. Comment in the section below about uh, any fart stories you wanna share. I'm all ears, really, I love this stuff. If you like this video, please go ahead and like it and subscribe to my channel. You can do that by clicking the icon right over there with the KD on it. And I hope to see you in the next video. We'll see you then.